Hello, this is Rob Reiner from Tactical. Today, we'll be demonstrating the latest milestone for our Prodigy Universal Processor, running a Linux user session interactively from our FPGA emulation system, which runs the actual RTL design for Prodigy, providing a functioning hardware prototype for development ahead of our silicon availability. The emulation system implements all the hardware and two boards, one for the processor and another for memory and I.O. subsystems. The CPU board is on the right. The processor FPGA implements the CPU core pipeline, including the full cache and memory hierarchy, and is supported with a serial port used as a console. It also implements an MMU hardware page table walk, interrupts, timer, user and kernel mode execution, and context switching between them. The memory and I.O. board is on the left. Let's take a look at our monitor the Linux boot is in progress. It's an SMP version of Linux in a single core configuration. The prompt shows the boot is complete and ready for input commands from the keyboard. Now I'd like to take you to a live demo of a typical user session. Let's start by printing the working directory, pwd. Let's do an ls, let's do an ls in the bin directory. Let's make a new directory called temp2. Let's cd into temp2. Now let's copy a file from the bin directory into this new directory. file is called stat. Let's do a ls, and there's stat in our new directory. Now we're going to mount a device. Let's see what we've done, and it shows what we've mounted. Next we'll create a file using the cat command. Call it temp3. Let's do control Z to get out of that. And CAD is still running in the background. Let's look at the PS, the process state, and take a look at that. We'll see CAT. CAT has a process ID of 26, so now we're going to kill CAT. And we kill cat. Next, we're going to delete the temp file. Now we'll print out the process states and load them into a file. Now let's load that into a file. PS start out. Do an ls, we see ps.out. Now we're going to change the file permissions for stat. Currently, we have execute access. So now we're going to change it using change mod to remove the execute permission. Let's do another ls minus l. And indeed, we have removed our execute permission for stat. Let's print out the architecture. We see we're running Tachium architecture, our native architecture. Let's output the messages that were printed during the Linux boot. And now, we're going to 
do that again and grep the character's SMP. Type it to the grep command. And we see that we are running SMP Linux. We find a couple of occurrences during the uh, output booting screen. How much memory is available? Free. And we display that. Let's rename ps.out to ps1.out. Do an ls. Now we see that we have ps1.out and no ps.out. Let's invoke a new shell and run an application. The application we're going to run is linpack. And we're running Limpack now. We've completed running Limpack, and now we'll exit the shell. Now let's look at the name of our window, TTY. Now let's look at our uh, operating system, Uname. We're running Linux. We can't say enough about our company and product, so let's do a nice echo. And we've echoed, this is Tachyon Prodigy. Let's look at the status of our I.O. devices. And finally, let's print the terminal characteristics, STTY. That concludes our demonstration. To summarize, this powerful demonstration of an interactive Linux session running on the actual RTL design in our FPGA emulation system showcases the maturity of Prodigy's hardware and software as we march towards tape out later this year. Thank you.